Good morning, everyone. So let us uh, today discuss the sums, uh, few sums, okay? So can you see the screen? Can you see the screen? Can you all see the screen, students? Can you all see the screen, everyone? Yes, sir. So in the last class, we did this numerical. Calculate the work done in pulling a block of mass 200 kg for 10 meters on a smooth plane inclined at an angle of 15 degree the horizontal. So this is a simple numerical. So in this numerical, The mass is given as 200 kgs, then the distance is what 10 meter and the angle of inclination is 15 degree, 15 in the horizontal. So what happens is that You have to find out, you have to find out that most of you have done it, but hey, let us discuss it again. You have to find out the total work done, right? So, how to determine the total work done? Now, the resistance due to inclination it is given by mg sin alpha, and this formula is from. this part wait so this formula is taken from what here that means component of the force along the inclined plane due to mass of the body right so this thing is taken as this mg sin alpha so if mg sin alpha is present then you can find out the component of the force but the normal reaction of the inclined plane is given by r equal to mg cos alpha this cos alpha terms gives you the normal reaction whereas the sin alpha term gives you the what component of the force along inclined plane due to mass of the body so here the numerical that is given okay. you have to find out what you have to find out the total work done in pulling up a block mass right so here this is the solution now you maximum for you will all did tell you michael let me explain it again here the mass block is what 2200 kg since the mass block is 200 kg the distance traveled is for 10 meters right the distance traveled is for 10 meters and the angle of inclination 15 degree with the horizontal 
Now, if the angle of inclination is 15 degree with the horizontal, hmm, then you just put the alpha value as 15 and then you just find it out mg sin alpha. You all know m, you all know g, and you all know sin alpha. So, in this manner, you can find out the resistance. Now, after resistance, you know, force into distance is known as what? The work done, right? So, since force into distance is known as the work done, you found out the resisting force by mg sin alpha. Now, once you found out the resisting force by mg sin alpha, you just multiply this resisting force with the what? Distance. Now, the distance, if you multiply it, then you will be getting what? Then you will all be getting the work done. Okay. So, you will work done. Now, once you get the work done, the numerical is over. So, in this way, you have to find it out. Now, come to the units part. So, in unit, what happens? Hmm. In units, you can max for work done, the unit is what? Zulu. Right. So, for work done, since the unit is Zulu, so what you people need to do is, you will have to always keep it in terms of Zulu. Like this is here, kept in what? Kilo Zulu. Right? So, you have to keep this in terms of zoom, kilo zoom, or something like that. Okay. So how will you keep that? Now, look. If it is in Newton meter per second, then Newton meter per second means what? Equivalent to what? Joule. And Joule is the unit of work done. Right. So, if Joule is the unit of work done, then this Newton meter per second, this thing, we can write it as 5.072. Ah, hello. Hello. Hello, hello. So, any day needed, I guess. Hello. Someone, please respond. Are you able to hear me? Yes, sir. Ah, so, both, so, 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 is there any problem in hearing or understanding? Anyone having any problem? Like you don't have any problem I think so. Okay, fine. So now, if you pay attention here, just pay attention. If you pay attention here, what happens is that you will be able to find out what the work done. Now work done if it is like just now I said now no, 5072 Newton meter per second. This means what 5072 Zulu. But you can write this as 5.072 kilo zoom or 5.072 kilo newton meter per second. Now just remember one thing. Huh? Just remember one thing, suppose. If the work done comes into play, then please put it in the form zoom, kilo zoom or something like that. Okay. You have to do in that manner. Is it okay for everyone? Okay, yes. sir, fine. Okay, fine. Yes, sir. So we'll go to the next numerical now. Okay. So in the next numerical, it is given that a locomotive and train together has a mass of 200 tons. Okay, an attractive resistance of 100 Newton per ton. A train can move up a grade of 1 in 125 with a constant speed of 28.8 km per hour. So find the power of the locomotive. Also find 
the speed at which the train can attain on a level track with the same tractive resistance and power of the locomotive. So now let us go to the first part initially. If you want, you can write the numerical in your copies. This one. First of all, the mass you have to find out the mass of the body. That means it is given what? First of all, you write the given. Okay. So in the given part, it is given that mass of the body that is locomotive and the train together. So locomotive and the train together will be considered as a whole body. So this is what 200 tons. So, the mass of the body that is locomotive and train together is 200 tons. Tractive resistance is 100 Newton per tons. Now look, first of all it is given what? Mass and tractive resistance. And can you say me what will be the total tractive resistance now? Can anyone say me what will be the total tractive resistance? 20,000. Very good. What about others? Does anyone say, can say? Can you see me? How come it became 20,000? Can you see me? Because uh, in one tom, 200. 100. It means 100 newton in part ton. Part mm -hmm. in one ton, each 100 newtons. Okay. So we have to multiply with 200. Very good. What about others? Is it clear? Why do you get it as uh, what do you call it? How do you find out the total tractive resistance? Is it clear? Yes, sir. So then, you, if you can you see the questions? Are you able to see the questions, students? Yes, sir. Okay. So you found out what mass of the body is 200 tons and then tractive resistance is equal to what 20,000 Newton so 20,000 Newton means what how much can you say me 20,000 Newton you can write in which way Newton, yeah. Uh, uh -huh. yeah, someone right wrote it 20 kilonewton. Okay, so 20 kilonewton because every day you have every time you have to write it as what divided by 1000, then only you will be getting that kilonewton. Huh? So, in this way, it is to be done. Now, this part is over. Now, look if the train can move up a grade of 1 in 125 with a constant speed of 28.8 km per hour. The grade that means what 
grade means the slope okay slope is given as how much 1 in 125 now do you know what does this slope means we had the expression of force like this now we had the expression of force like this now. m m g sin what sin what sin what students huh alpha alpha, alpha. very good it is mg sin alpha right so if it is mg sin alpha then this is given as what the train can move up a grade of 1 in 125 with a constant speed of 28.8 km per hour so what does this grade means can you say me what does this grade means can you say me a length which uh, length of the train i think nahi nahi grade matlab kya hai nahi wo wo thoda galat hai socho to ek bar aur fir se bolo to bol sakte hai tum log aur dusra log bolo to what about others please tell me don't write in the chat just tell me this tell me don't write in the chat just tell me so what does this great thing actually means I have no idea anyone please write yeah, what does that 1 by 125 someone wrote what does that mean actually what is that thing actually i know it is 1 by 125 is the grade but what is that actually why 1 by 125 is put and where will you put in the expression this is the sin alpha component actually okay so this whole sin alpha thing is given as the problem grade grade means what so that means we can write as sin sin what alpha equal to what 1 divided by 1 2 so this is actually how it is done so we got this 125 that means what 1 by 125 is the sin alpha thing of the mg sin alpha what wow. does it mean sir kya what does it means so it's okay that it is a 1 by 125 is sin matlab uh, according to question what it uh, conveying ho kya bata raha hai ki 1 by 125 dekho ek bar question ko padho to is the dekho ha main bolta hu unko if the train is moving up a grade of 1 by 125 dekha ye sentence kya hai tum iska matlab kya hai bolo to mujhe 1 by 125 ka matlab kya hoga that is i am what i am asking you sir yeah you you give one guess then also 
you just give one try you tried it i know just try it once more ek bar wo sentence par ke tumko kaisa lag raha hai kya ho sakta hai ye main bolu ha kya bola hello hello हेलो ओ वेट वेट ना ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है एक बार सोचो तो दो मिनट सोचो सोच के बोलो ये सेंटेंस पढ़ के देखो इफ द ट्रेन कैन मूव अप ए ग्रेड ऑफ वन इन वन ट्वेंटी फाइव ये ग्रेड टर्म जो है ना ये सिविल इंजीनियरिंग का बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट टर्म है बाद में दूसरा सब्जेक्ट में भी मिलेगा तुम लोगों को अगर नहीं बोल पाएगा तो बोल ना ठीक है मैं बोल दूंगा उसके बाद एनी वन एल्स वॉन्ट्स टू गिव ए ट्राई वट इज दिस ग्रेड मीन्स इफ ए ट्रेन कैन मूव अप ए ग्रेड ऑफ वन इन वन ट्वेंटी फाइव वट दिस टर्म मीन्स कैन एनी वन एल्स से If you don't know, you say don't know. Yes, sir. New so, type of question. Ah uh ha! -huh. क्या बोला? For me, it's new type of question. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. No problem. Let us discuss. Look, so one in one twenty-five thing means what? This is the slope. Got it? देखो, if a train can move up the grade, up a grade मतलब क्या है? It will uh, something like this, no? It is something like this, no? Wait. It is something like this, no? So here is the train. The post, okay? So it is moving what? In this direction, no? so this is the grade that means what this is the angle alpha so we all know in the last class i showed you how to determine it so the sin alpha is the what grade got it now is it clear I'm showing you from the book. Just give me a minute. So here, if you see it here, so this is the case. The second one. This is the case. So the. train is what moving upwards so we will be using what this one this mg sin alpha thing is yes or no so if you will be using mg sin alpha hmm then you will get the what you will get the what you will get You will get the desired result. So in this way, you will have to do it. Now, if you see here, hmm. if you see here, uh, you can see see that. Now we have to find out what the resistance due to inclination. So the, just find it out the resistance due to inclination. So resistance due to inclination means what? The train is moving up. Train is moving up, right? 
since the train is moving up so there will be certain amount of resistance so this is given by that same expression mg what mg sin alpha so what is the value of m here when how much will be m 2000 hmm or 200 200 very good no. m is 200 m is 200 okay because you have to find out the mass now yes or no so m is 200 z you all know 9.8 and sin alpha means 1 by 125 just find it out and tell me how much you got the answer wait 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 just a minute just before uh, you start doing it you have one speed also can you see the question the constant speed of 28.8 kilometer per hour yes or no hello yes sir so if it is 28.8 kilometer per hour so how will you too hard you have to convert it speed ko convert karna padega na kis se kis tak convert karega tum log good so you have to convert it into meter per second okay 28.8 kilometer per hour equal to 8 meter per second okay so now you can just get back to that step mg sin alpha part and tell me how much answer you have got do it Which one I need to explain? Someone said me to explain. Which part I need to explain? Larson, which part I need to explain? Any? Okay. So the answer, someone got the answer. Good, very good. So you got the answer. Many, most people got the answer. Okay, I got two answers or three answers. What about others? Just give me your answers. Okay, so people have got the answer 15.68. So the correct answer is 15.68. Okay, so now if you got the resistance, now this is the what resistance due to inclination. Okay, yeah. but there is another resisting force. What is that resisting force? In the very first, we did one resisting, we found out one force now. So, what is that resisting force? Can anyone say? Okay. Hello. Tractive resistance. Tractive. So, how will that be considered? Now, we just try to understand. You got. You got what? From this mg sin alpha thing, you got one. Now here the train is moving, right? So the if the train is moving here. Then there will be some resistance given by this track. Yeah, 
some resistance will be given by these tracks. So this is known as the tractive resistance. And because of this gradient or the slope, you got one resistance. And this tractive resistance, you got it to be how much? You found out now how much kilonewton? 20 kilonewton. And just now, how much you found out due to resistance due to the slope? 15.68. Yeah. So that's how. What will be the total resistance? It will be like this, now. 15.6. Understood. So yes. Got it. So this is how the total force is being found found out. So how much is the value of the total force now? Can you say me? Total resisting force. What, how? I, I didn't understand. You have some doubt. Please ask me in the mic. Unmute yourself and out, ask your doubt. Hello? Yeah. Kuch pucha tumne doubt? Oh, sorry, sorry. Ek to jar kilo newton me, sorry. Ek to newton me ho. You need different. You need different case yoga. So, attractive resistance ka unit to 200 into 9.8 into 1 by 125. Yeh to kilometer pe hai. Hai ki nahi? inclination ka resistance. Hai ki nahi? Aur tum log ka jo ye wala hai, pehle wala. That means, attractive resistance that you found out by multiplying 100 into 200. That means what? You got it 20,000 Newton. So you converted it into, into also kilonewton, right? You got it in 20 kilonewton. Yeah. Abhi samaj me aya? Q20 plus 15.68 kya? Did you understand now? Sir, inclination resistance kilonewton me hoga, sir. Ha ha, inclination bhi kilonewton pe hoga. Obviously hoga. Thik hai? Ye inclination ka bhi kilonewton pe hoga aur pehle wala to kilonewton pe hi hai. Hagini, Samza Samagini. Acha. So now you got the what? Force. You got the force, right? So now if you got the force, So you can find out what? Work done per second. That means in one second, how much work is done? Can you find out that? You have the force, right? You got the force as 35.68. I think so. So if you got the force as 35.68, ah, now you can find out what? Now you can find out the work done. But work done, here the distance is not there. But the speed we found out in meter per second, right? So you can do one thing, work done per second. That means, x second me kitna work done kya? Can you find out or not that thing? Students, are you getting me what I'm saying? Hello? 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 Yes, sir. 
Are you getting me what I'm saying? Can you repeat, sir? Okay. So what happens is that you found out the force is 35.68, na? Yes or no? Yes. Hello. So force mil gaya tum logko 35.68, right? Now the what is work done? What is the expression for work done? Tell me. Force into displacement. Distance. Force into distance, na? So now look, force into distance is work done. Yes. Now, if you see, if you come to a conclusion that we can write it at what? Force into um, distance is work done. Fine. Now we have the what? We have the speed. We got in meter per second, eight meter per second. Yes or no? Yes, I got it. So work done per second. That means in one second, how much work is done? So that can be done as what force into you know distance yes or no i mean force into the speed yes or no so next class will clarify i'll show it to you wait yes sir you got this in this manner no? So now you can write it as like this, no? Walk done per second. Can you all see the screen? I'm writing something. Hello? Hello? Uh, yes, sir. So it is what? Total force? Total force into initially it was only work done, then it would have been distance. Now, distance that means what? Distance means what? Suppose it is in meter. Now, meter per second. That means what? It is. It is velocity, right? Meter per second is what? Velocity. So, work done per second. So, you can write this as the velocity term. Yes or no? That means what? You can just write it at in this manner. So, total work done per second is what? Thirty-five point six. Eight into eight meter. So remove this. Leave it. So you can write like this. Yes or no? This will be the work done per second. So it will be in this manner. So work done per second. If it is there. Then, if the time factor is coming, then we can write it as a power. So we, the unit will be what kilojoule per second. That means kilowatt. So this is how it is being done. Up to this part, we will discuss the second part. Just think over it and try to solve it out. Okay. It might not be clear today, but just think over it. We will discuss it again in the next class. The same thing. Yeah, someone even got the correct answer. Very good. Very good. So if you have any doubts, you can ask me.
ask me for any doubts or you can give it in the answers.